After installing the ProAir ducted air conditioning unit, you have to install, connect and configure the system. Find the electrical cabinet or switchboard and fit the Polaris 2X control unit to the DIN rail using the incorporated groove. Connect the damper motors to the output connector on the control unit. Then connect to the ducted machine and lastly connect the control unit to the power with the terminals. Strip the end of the wire with pliers and then crimp the connector. Use telephone type 8 strand wires and RJ45 connectors, remembering to ensure the correct polarity. After crimping the two ends, use the appropriate instrument to check the wiring is correct. In the Technosystemi catalog, ready prepared connecting cables of different lengths are available. Connect up the first round damper with the input socket of the relevant motor and then with the output socket. After that, continue with the cascade connection of the other dampers which make up the system. Tidy up all the wires with cable ties. Connect up the rectangular vents using the input socket and quick connect plugs. And then insert the vent in its housing. The intermittent green LED on the round dampers shows that the system is working optimally, with no anomalies. The number of flashes shows the slot where the motor has been successfully located. If any anomalies are detected, the flashing LED will be red, and the thermostat will also register the problem with a flashing error message. The LED, which indicates the electronic bypass, is blue. Power up the ProAir system and check that the Polaris 2X control unit has turned on correctly. It will immediately start searching for any connected motors. In this case, the system identifies four motors connected to the control unit. Now we have to check each of the four motors. Access the settings menu by pressing OK and assign, for example, the bypass to number four, as in the video. The bypass will flash with an intermittent blue light. Now link up each of the thermostats with the relevant damper. The Zone 1 thermostat, for example, is for a large living room, and so we will link it to two dampers, 1 and 2. Note that the number 4 is not available because it has already been assigned to the electronic bypass. The remaining damper number 3 is linked with Zone 2. Going back to the main screen, if we click ESC twice, we can see that the control unit has correctly assigned to the first thermostat the control of two dampers, and to the second the control of one. Point four is the bypass. In order to link the thermostats to the control unit, they have to share a unique network ID, which allows them to communicate with each other but not to interfere with any other ProAir systems that may be present. The Polaris 2X automatically produces the necessary ID. It can be seen in the settings menu under Network ID Configuration. Once the network ID has been created, we have to make it visible, for the time needed, to all active thermostats. The thermostats receive a radio signal from the control unit which communicates the network ID 
which is then in turn shown on the large display. It is then necessary to confirm the ID on the thermostat and assign it to the zone it covers. The thermostat is now operational. The thermostat is currently registering a temperature as 13.5 degrees. The radio signal is excellent, the relevant damper is fully open and the system is in heating mode. The thermostat is locked in order to avoid accidentally touching the capacitive buttons and modifying the settings. The settings can be modified at any time by pushing the appropriate button to unlock the thermostat. In this way, various new data will appear, including the time, day, temperature setting and the relative humidity expressed as a percentage. If we want to change the ambient temperature, all you have to do is press the plus or minus buttons to open the vent louvers from minimum to maximum. Following this change in the temperature setting, the thermostat will beep to confirm acceptance of the new setting. Every system comes with a master thermostat, which is recognisable from the writing on the display. Using the master and accessing the system's menu by pressing set, we can select the heating and cooling mode and switch off the complete system from a single place, rather than switching off all the individual thermostats. In order to set the timer, proceed as follows. From the settings menu, hold down the set button until the clock symbol appears and then confirm the selection. At this point, the system asks if we want to select the first time band. Once we've confirmed this, we can set the start and finish times of the band and then set the temperature we want. Proceed in the same way to set the other times or return to the main screen where the clock symbol will show that the timer has been correctly set up. In this case, the damper symbol will be crossed out because the current time is outside the time band. Technosystem, investing in the future.